how to make a comp and when we're recording audio. So I'll just record a little guitar movement there and uh, we'll create a comp and then we'll pick the best pieces of all the takes. So how I create a comp is make sure I have the cycle bar where I want to start and stop the recording. So I want to start it just a bit, a bit before where I want to play and then a bit after where I want it to stop. And I'm going to record with the click on and I have the gain set. I can just press R on my keyboard and start recording. And now I won't stop recording. It's just going to loop record that for me. And by default, Logic will help me create a comp for me. It's going to package all the takes together and uh, make a folder for me. So we'll see that in action now. Okay, so a little bit out of tune in parts and maybe not the best playing, but we're going to fix it right now. And this is what you can do. And we'll see the power of logic here. It's created this folder. Let me just zoom out. We have six different takes here. Take one, take two, take three, take four, take five, take six. Whatever is clicked on will be at the top here. So it takes two now, take two is at the top. Take one, take one is at the top. And we can click this little arrow to snap it up. Now it's just kind of in one track and the takes are all packaged here. By the way, this is the same for vocals. So if we were recording a vocal melody over this, we would do the same thing. So what we want to do to create the comp, um, let's just unpack the, or look at the folder here. If we don't want to create a comp and we just want to have these to be in their own tracks, we can do that too. We can do unpack to new tracks and that will create uh, six new tracks with these, with your takes here. In our case, let's just create a comp. So what we'll do is create new comp, comp A. How we want to edit this comp is by going through each of the takes and finding the best parts in each, in each take. So let's first listen to this take. <laughs> Okay, so you kind of just have to ask yourself, what do you like in that take? So I'm going to do a comp here where I'm going to take this part and take this part here. And what I did there is just clicked into take two with this bar icon that you can see here, clicked, and I'm dragging now, which means I'm going to take this section of the comp and this what's happening here is it's going to create a crossfade for me and so as the cursor moves past here it's going to do a crossfade and seamlessly go into this part so you can see what i mean so if i snap this up now you can see the different lines here. These are all the little sections we've chosen from the different takes, these lines here. Do a drop down here. We can uh, flatten and merge, which would take all the comps, uh, all the takes away and just leave us a nice um, audio file with all these little bits. We can um, export active comp to a new track. So let's do this because if we flatten and merge, then we've really, we're really, really committing to this comp because we can't go back on that. So let's export active comp to new track. And here we go, we can snap that up and we can mute this now. 
drag this one back up. Now we have our active, uh, active comp down. And we can now go in and create more crossfades in there. A quick tool would just be to have put the fade tool on one of your tools, this command option now, so I can just quickly go and I can fade these. And then we can bounce this as a new audio file if we wanted to uh, make it clean. Or we could do something like highlight these, do control B and that will bounce. Uh, you can leave these as default right now. We don't have any effects on here. We would want overload protection only and include any audio tail and region is, is good. So that would bounce this to a new file. We can mute the original comp. And now we have like a fresh take of um, in one audio file of the comp we like. Now what we can do with this audio file is we can do flex time on it to put it in time and then we can add effects and plugins and effects to make it sound a lot better. But we're gonna save that for the, um, I guess that section is editing audio section. So we won't do that right now and we'll continue talking about recording.